So first week checklist for a new Google Ads campaign or a new account. So this assumes that you're doing search because shopping's a little bit different and you know your KPIs. So you know what your budget is, you know what your target CPA or ROAS is, you've got those nailed down because you've spoken to the person who's given you the budget and you understand what the targets are. So week one, we can call it week one, two-ish up to the first month. But let's say week one, it's your learning, data gathering phase. Expansion will come later, typically month two or three. So unless you've uh, templated experience of the industry that you're working is, don't try and be the hero. By that, I mean, in an ideal situation, you're going to try and do the least amount of work in the first week. You've done all the work of setup and configuring. You know, you've got your tracking set up. You've done all your keyword research. You've written all the ads, especially if you've used my 23 pillars of ad copy cheat sheet with a chat GPT template. Small plug there. So you've done all that hard work. And now you should be sitting back and watching. So you're attesting your assumptions are correct. I've got the right keywords. I've structured the ad groups in the appropriate way. So the ads make the most sense to those keywords and the search terms that are triggered underneath and it's going to the right landing page. So it's, it's essentially testing assumptions. So you're looking for telltale signs that you got something wrong or something is wrong and they are explosive spend. So your ad spend has uh, essentially overrun all this one campaign or ad group in particular that's burning through all that budget. So you want a smooth delivery essentially. So that's one thing you need to be looking for and getting on top of quickly. Then you've got the high impressions, low clicks situation. So this is bad, this, this essentially impacts quality score and therefore ad rank when you combine that with your bid. So this suggests that if you've got loads of impressions and you're getting no clicks or very few, so you've got a low click through rate, your targeting is likely off. So you're showing up in the wrong place. Um, if you try to be fancy and you've really segmented down, you've got audience set up and you've got uh, different segments overlaid, then what I suggest is you actually try and simplify things. So you walk that back. You loosen up your campaign a little bit by simplifying it. So roll back to just exact match keywords and perhaps have only audiences as observations. First party data is ideal, but this is a new account. The assumption is you don't really have a lot of first party data yet. But observations for now, just so you can review them as opposed to trying to target things. The next thing is uh, auction insights. You won't get these initially, but after a week, they should start to populate. Again, a quick review. So are you seeing competitors that aren't competitors? Because that is another signal that you're in the wrong place. Your targeting is wrong because you're turning up in that auction. It's not normally that their targeting is wrong. They're established, you've turned up new guy on the block and you're in the wrong place. You've gone down the wrong alleyway, you wanna back out of it because they've got some medieval looking instruments that are gonna use on you. Anyway, the other thing is search terms report, which is pretty darn obvious. So do the search terms make sense? Google's given you a big hint here that uh, about the context and the content of these searches against your keywords. So your job at this stage is to ensure they're a good fit. If you're finding yourself adding hundreds of negatives in the first few days or the first week, that might be a signal that you should reconsider your keyword selection. Or again, you thin them down, you tighten things up. So less keywords, going back to exact if you're trying broad to again, hone things and keep control over things in the first week or two. And once you start getting positive signals, i.e. a good cadence of spend, conversions are coming in, a decent click-through rate, you know, the, the behavior signals look good, that's when you start considering some expansion. But yeah, don't run before you can walk.